You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Echo Flynn's Path. So y'all, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that uh, our Patreon is now up for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel and get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. All that for as little as $5. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. <clears throat> Alright. Group was having a picnic. Jenna just smirks, taking a swig of her own drink. Very smooth. Well, I suppose with that little gesture, it's dancing time. I'm not sure if this is if this is her type of music, but she begins swaying to the beat of the pop song regardless. Aren't you supposed to do that for a new boat? Well, I'm still eating my hot dogs! <clears throat> Next thing I know, Leo's up as well, popping his shoulders up and rolling his arms. Leo used to be great at dancing, but that was when he was four inches shorter and 40 pounds thinner. <clears throat> He's kind of giving me dad at a cookout fives, which in turn is starting to give me mild midlife crisis by proxy. <laughs> TJ soon joins him and balances things out. The Link's doing some basic shuffles. I look down at my feet. Eh, fuck it. I'm an otter, right? Natural entertainer. <clears throat> Dance with Carl. Dance with Leo. Actually, yeah, let me, uh... I'll save this right there so I can dance with everybody and see what it... Dance with Leo. <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's exactly safe to drink out of a bottle with a broken top, but I might as well try. The cuts in my throat will make the alcohol work quicker, right? After avoiding Leo for the past day, it might be best to not ignore him right now. I'm still wary as hell about the way Leo has been acting and embarrassed over my own behavior. But he's still Leo, and he's the closest I've gotten to another person. Plus, somebody needs to stop him from doing that lawnmower move for the eighth time in a row. <coughs> he spots me walking toward him, and his whole face seems to light up. Otter! Leo! Dance with me? I smile lopsidedly. Somebody has to. I can feel the other's eyes upon me as Leo and I move a little closer together. I keep things simple, doing some basic two steps with the rolling of my waist. No gimmick moves. Leo begins to catch on and does the same. We've done this before, after all. Leo dragged me dragged me to every prom, junior prom, and homecoming dance there was. Haters be damned. I wasn't much for those sorts of things, but he was the, but he was the varsity football guy, so by unwritten high school law, he was expected to go to those things. We still good to talk later? Yeah. Sounds good. Leo's gaze drifts past me toward the table. He's quiet for a moment, simply moving to the rhythm. Hey. Hmm? Do you remember when we... It takes me a moment, but my eyes widen and I feel my neck begin to burn. Oh, God! Hey, you were the one who insisted putting, uh, ketchup on it. You should have put that jalapeno ketchup on it. Leo smiles cheekily. Wouldn't bother me. I'm the spicy Latino, remember? He rumbles some. The look on your face when I could barely fit it in the bun. Oh, my cheeks are absolutely burning. Man, you jerk! Whose idea was it again? My crotch smelled like concession for a like a concession stand for a week. It's not my fault you don't know how to properly wash. Hey, says Mr. Musky himself. Let a large puff of air. Feels just like when we were a couple. And that's the scary part. My mind reels back to Leo's confrontations with Flynn these past few days. His violent behavior. I take a step back, clearing my throat. Now nah, let's just dance, okay? <clears throat> I hear you. We continue on, and it feels like just an hour passes. I, I peel a bit of wallpaper above the mantle with my thumb. Man, I love shots like that. Just showing just old buildings and states of disrepair and how they uh, contrast with the environment. But really, something very beautiful and haunting about just decayed man-made structures just standing out in the middle of nowhere. Alright, let's see. Dance with TJ and Jenna. I'm not sure if it's exactly safe to drink out of a bottle with a broken top, but I might as well try. The cuts in my throat will make the alcohol work quicker, right? As I walk up to the two, Jenna already has an amused look on her face. Hey, do you, get, do you guys want to... Sure, Chase. Jenna is swaying her hips, arms above her head, with her paws swirling in slow circles. She's sort of like a less, a less body belly dancer. TJ, meanwhile, is keeping things pretty basic with clutched fists, letting his shoulders roll to the rhythm. Oh, cool. I feel a bit put on the spot, both of them looking at me to see what sort of moves I'll put out. It's like, you know, water time. <sighs> I know I'm mostly gay, but I try not to get too feminine with dancing, especially with a girl involved. I decide to mainly use my feet, pivoting in place and two-stepping from side to side while rolling my waist. 
I'm not exactly in tempo with the music, but it's the best I can do. We missed you the past few days, Chase. Thanks, TJ. I think I'll be spending more time with you guys for the rest of the week. He smiles cheerily. Even Jenna looks pleased. I'm not sure what drew you to what drew you to spend the week with Flynn after what he said what, after what he did, though I could guess. She gives me a sort of knowing look. I exhale. TJ may be naive, but she sees right through me, doesn't she? Always has. Don't worry, that's that's over. She dances closer to me, even placing her paws on my shoulders for a while. Oh? I guess I was just hoping that there was something, you know, more to him, you know? I mean, beyond the tough front he puts up. I was stupid. Yes, you were. Jenna says his, this rather matter-of-factly. She glances over at Leo, who appears to be in the, mid in the midst of doing what I believe is known as a lawnmower by the grill. But I get it. He has his moments of genuine sweetness. Yet, those are almost always surprising outliers from the norm. Girls all over the world fall for guys like him because they think they can change them. That's not how it works. What are you guys talking about? TJ moves closer, his ears twitching some as he tries to listen in over the music. Jenna pats him on the shoulder. Flynn and Chase are not getting along. Oh. She does a slight twirl, leaning close to me. Chase, why don't you... God damn it! Jenna tumbles to the ground, seething. Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry, Jenna. Leo stops his rendition of the garden hose and perks up. You kids all right? Chase stepped on my foot and, tw and I twisted it. Hurts like hell, but I'll be okay. Oh, no! Here, let me help you to the table. Please don't put any pressure on it just yet. The Fennec grits her teeth as she wraps an arm around TJ's shoulder and hops along to the table bench. Meanwhile, I'm standing here like a jackass. Good thing we have Mr. Sports Medicine here with us this afternoon. TJ smiles some, looking apologetic, despite having, no having done nothing wrong. Carl gives TJ an ice pack and everyone gathers around. No one's dancing anymore and it feels like an hour passes as we tend to Jenna's injury. Alright, let's see what else we got. That's with Carl. I'm not sure if it's exactly safe to drink out of a bottle with a broken top, but I might as well try. The cuts in my throat make the alcohol work quicker, right? I walk over to Carl, who is putting relish on what appears to be his third tofu dog. He looks up, offering a quick nod. Hey, dude! Hey, man. Wanna dance? Carl looks at me with pure deadpan. He says nothing, his face completely devoid of expression. His eyes are vacant. It matches the expression. We stare at each other like this for about 15 seconds before Carl breaks into laughter. I do too. That's real funny, dude. You know, you know, I was actually being kind of serious. Huh. The ram flubbers his lips, rotating on the bench so that his back rests against the table portion. He pats the spot next to him with a large paw. How about we just let the physically fit have the dance floor? I take a seat beside him, quirking an eyebrow. Are you saying I'm not physically fit? Carl reaches over, taking my broken bottle and replacing it with a fresh whole one from the cooler. I'm just flattered and shit that you're taking after my example for body goals. Oh my god! You're even doing the facial scruff thing. Chase, man, be honest with me. Do you believe you were born in the wrong body? That you actually should be heavy set cloven guy with horns? I know some forums that'll help you. I look down, holding my slightly bulging stomach with my paws. Ugh, I'm good for now. I glance back up, catching sight of Carl's eyes. Wait, are you not high right now? Nope, decided to stop mixing my downers after last night. Also, was hanging out with Dax, and he kind of seems like the straight edge type. I don't let dirty druggies into the Adastra Star Academy. Glad you're taking your duty seriously. Alright, second y'all is water time. I'm glad you're taking your duty seriously. God, dude, remember when we were gonna get into LARPing? Like, we watched all those videos of people doing it online and we were so down. The memory flashes back into my mind. Carl getting his parents to buy us a bunch of foam board and fabric from the department store. We started to make our own swords and stuff. Oh yeah, whatever ha whatever stopped that? I think you discovered what gay sex was. Oh. I frown. That was about the time Leo and I started dating, wasn't it? Leo appears to be in the midst of doing what is known as a lawnmower while TJ and Jenna dance together by the grill. Yup. I'm silent for a moment. Not sure what to say. So to say the only thing I can think of. I'm sorry. For what? Carl turns, sitting down his tofu dog and looking at me. For ignoring you after Leo and I got together. Carl's, Carl's brow raises ever so slightly. His lips purse and he looks down at his hooves. Oh, no, nah, it's fine, dude. I get it. I don't really compare to that. He gestures up to Leo, who's now doing what I think Flynn once called the garden hose. If I had a, if I had a super hot girlfriend, I'd ditch your aquatic ass, too. There's a slight teasing tone to his voice, though the fact that it is only a slight concerns me. Carl? He waves dismissively, putting on a placid smile. As we sit there in silence and drink, it feels like just an hour passes. Alright, now for Daxton. Alright. Dance with Daxton. 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's exactly safe to drink out of a bottle with a broken top, but I might as well try. The cuts in my throat will make the alcohol work quicker, right? Daxon still isn't dancing. He's sort of just standing around and shifting his weight from foot to foot. Out of all the people here, I know him the I know him the least. Maybe in this circumstance, that's for the best. Plus, the hell with it. I'll admit it. He's cute in a kind of slimy, geeky way. Maybe I can, maybe I just have a thing for reptiles and amphibians. I mean, last night I fucked Flynn in the back room of a disgusting bar full of strangers, and here I am, here I am now with his roommate. Jesus, Chase, don't get ahead of yourself. I try to unkink my tail and myself and approach the tall salamander by the grill. He looks at me with a half smile. Hey! Hi! Wanna dance? Daxton quickly looks off to the side, then back to me. He leans forward, speaking so only I can hear. Aren't you worried about the evil ex? I mean, the not evil ex, not technically your ex. I try not to look defensive. Dancing with somebody is not always some sort of romantic action. Oh, sorry. He smiles sheepishly. Like I said in the car yesterday, I'm new to the, I'm new to parties. This is kind of cool. This 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 is nothing. Just a gathering of a few friends. You should see real parties like the ones up in Pueblo or the ones back in the smoke room. He lets out a sharp, amused breath before taking a drink, seemingly in reaction to my wide-eyed expression. Well, Mike was telling me about what it was like back there. I took I took two separate showers when I got home after that. I rubbed the back of my neck, then managed a slightly wry smile. Hot or cold? Huh, funny. He exhales from his slitted nostrils. Remember, I'd like to talk to you later. But for now, I don't mind dancing with you, Chase. You don't mind? Daxton smirks, shaking his head a bit. As we begin to gyrate our arms and legs in a manner that could be loosely interpreted as dancing, I can practically feel Leo's eyes on my back. Carl makes a joke in between bites of tofu dogs, but I'm not really listening. Feels like just an hour passes. I peel a bit of wallpaper above the mantle with my thumb. Without all the furniture, the place looks much older than it actually is. I managed to get in by unlocking the front door with one of my credit cards. The deadbolt never worked, and I guess my parents didn't fix it after I left town. Everything kind of smells faintly familiar. Just dustier and without my mom's burning cinnamon incense that seemed to be a constant feature of my childhood. I rest my forearms against the windowsill and let my eyes lull a bit. Otter! Leo smacks his paws on either side of the window, looking up at me from the outside with a pleased expression on his muzzle. Jesus, man! I blink. Why are you shirtless? Leo pulls back some, crossing his arms over his chest. Thank you, y'all. Water time. Hmm. Alright. He rolls his shoulders, a sort of indirect shrug. It was getting hot, especially with all that moving around and grilling. I give him a dubious look. Yeah, you're a hot dog, alright. Red Wolf responds with a delighted smile. I harumph, trying to change gears a bit. You're not, like, self-conscious or anything. I mean, isn't it like the height of football season for you anymore? I flick my gaze toward his stomach. Leo's demeanor cools, though he keeps smiling as if he's trying to not let that one on, that one set in too much. He points up toward my chin. Do you dye that? What, my goatee? Is that what you call it? Yeah. He lets out a little humored grunt. What? Seems like a lot of work for a little scruff of hair, yeah? I frown, pushing back away from the window. Leo seems to stiffen some. Hey, hey, I'm just kidding. You look, you know, you look very good. Seeing you dancing and all that takes me back. But you're different. He pushes his tongue against the roof of his mouth, with his eyes darting from side to side as he tries to find the right words. I haven't seen him like this since we were younger. I wonder if his English has been getting worse without us around. His family really only speaks the native tongue at home, and I imagine it's at, it's at the same, imagine it's the same at the shop he works at. Um, thanks. I'm honestly not sure how to respond to that. What am I doing that's so different? I can't explain it. You're just like you used to be. Just less. I feel a sinking sensation within my chest. Leo suddenly snaps his fingers. Mellowed out. That's it. Listen, Leo, you said you wanted to talk, right? Because if your big point is that I'm not a complete spaz anymore, I'm already aware. Leo furrows his white ridged brow. You never were a spaz, and I was getting to that. Chase? I spin around and see the familiar salamander standing anxiously behind me. Oh, Hi. Hola, scooter guy. Leo leans past me and waves. Hey, got time to talk, Chase? Sure. Fuck you, Leo. No. Ah, I'm actually kind of... Hmm. This seems like a point that I should save. Because something terrible might happen. Um, hmm. Talk to... yeah. Great, thank you. Chase. When I turn back, Leo's smile has grown more tight, but he tries to play off his reaction. Chase, I've been meaning to talk to you about some things. I just... 
Neil lets out a large breath of air, checking his phone. Fucking pops, man. He doesn't care whether or not it's my day off. Family helps family. Leo mumbles a few inaudible swears in his native language before looking at the two of us. All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and uh, check out our Patreon. It really helps the channel. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.